always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We're getting a live look this morning, excuse me, from our sky cam over in Blacksburg. Still seeing those very gloomy conditions. That's going to continue throughout much of the day today. Seeing a little bit of snow across the region as well. Most of that focused in the NRV as well as the Highlands, but we even saw some snow flurries here in Roanoke, even over in Lynchburg as well. Current radar looking pretty quiet, though. We still do have a few isolated snow showers out there, but our temperatures are warming up nicely this morning, and that's really helped us out in terms of melting that snow. In fact, just within the past few minutes, we saw this system. It's fizzling pretty quickly. Temperatures north of the 64 corridor right around freezing. If anything, a little bit lower and that's going to cause, if anything, maybe some bigger snowflakes. So we're going to continue to watch this move off towards the east and back towards the NRV. We do still have a system of not only snow, but also possibly some freezing rain because those temperatures are right around that freezing mark. If anything, maybe a little bit above, which will help us to bring and maybe a little bit of freezing rain, but you can see how isolated the system is. It's not going to be lasting for much longer temperatures. It, it's no wonder why we're over at 37 degrees in Withville, 35 in Blacksburg, over in Lewisburg, right at that freezing mark. And that's a similar case for the hot springs as well. We do have that site down at the moment here in Roanoke, currently at 38 degrees. Now for the rest of today, we're going to continue to watch this line, but for the most part, back towards the NRV, those temperatures will be a little bit warmer, so we're mainly watching that rain potential, watching the snow staying focused along the mountains, uh, along the mountains, if anything, along the western slopes of the mountains. As we go throughout the rest of the evening, by 11 p.m., even midnight, that system will be gone. We're holding on to some clouds, especially west of the parkway. Those of us off towards the east might be seeing a little bit more of those clear skies, helping temperatures to drop tonight. As for this next system that we're watching, this will move in Friday night and throughout the day on Saturday, going to be bringing us a potential for some rain as we go late into the night Friday for Saturday morning. Now I want to watch this system very carefully because it could end up potentially clipping us as the system you can see is right on the edge of our viewing area. Now this will move off towards the east, possibly bringing in some more rain as we go throughout the day on Saturday. But behind that, we're really bringing in those breezy winds once again. As for this system, we could definitely see some snow up towards the highlands as well as the NRV. The rest of us, though, we're not looking at that snow threat, just going to be seeing some rain from the system. If anything, it is going to be very wide spread though. As we go throughout the next few days though, what many people want to know is when are these temperatures going to start to warm up? That is going to happen as we go into late uh, for the weekend as well as early next week. Our temperatures returning to the 50s and 60s at least for a few days. It's not going to be very long lasting. This afternoon, most of us into the 30s, even a few 40s out there. Your 48 hour forecast keeps us into the 30s and 40s over the next few days, even into the 50s for Southside on Friday. Your Lynchburg area forecast that keeps us in the 40s for Thursday and Friday, but by this weekend we are into the 50s, even the 60s by Monday. That's a similar situation for the Roanoke Valley as well. Enjoy those warmer temperatures while they, while they last.